Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Greek Folk Festival 2009. We're glad you all could be a part of the festivities, and we thank you for your patronage each and every year. Hi, it's Cheryl Terrigan, Baltimore Celebrity Examiner. Guess who I'm here with? John Sarbanes. How you doing? Good, how are you? We're here at the Greek Festival. That's what all that noise is behind us. It is a little loud, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Representative Sarbanes, what do you think about the stimulus package and its hope for Marylanders? Well, of course, the stimulus money is flowing in two ways. It's coming through states, and I think Maryland's done a pretty good job of taking that money and trying to get it into transit projects and into construction projects, these kind of shovel-ready projects that get the money out quickly and create jobs. So that's working pretty well. It also flows directly from federal agencies to various organizations. That's been a little more uneven. we got to make sure it continues to get out the door. You know, it's threatening to pass these dollars, and it's a lot of taxpayer money, obviously. we got to make sure it gets spent efficiently and in a timely way so that it actually helps with the recovery. We're starting to feel some traction with the economy. We don't want the recovery to get stunted because we can't get the dollars out the door quickly enough. So we're going to focus a lot on that. And Where that do you sense. feel that we're starting to feel the traction in the economy? I have been talking to small businesses for the last six months. And I talked to them at a time when they were in absolute free fall. And in the last couple of weeks even, I would say, the word I'm getting is they're starting to see some glimmers of hope. They're starting to get that contract that requires some more inventory. They're, so from the small businessmen? Small businesses, which is frankly, I, I pay more attention to the small businesses than I do to Wall Street firms or the large businesses. Because the small businesses, they feel it first when things go bad and they have their antenna up to know whether things are getting better. Now, there's still a lot of people are hurting. The unemployment rate continues to increase, although it's slowed a little and a lot of businesses are struggling and they need credit and they need loans to help them and so forth. So we got to stay focused on it. But we're starting to see some positive traction. We just got to keep that going. What do you think about that new moniker that they're calling DC, the Hollywood on the side of the Potomac? I mean, I don't know. I'll tell you something. You're not seeing more movie stars? I leave every day and I drive home to Baltimore in my Ford Focus and I get back to my district. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm one of the few members of Congress that can do that because I live close. I get home to my family. I get to spend time with my wife and kids every day. And I see my constituents. And I get out of the bubble. I get out of the 